For every dreamer or writer looking for stories, these records were a compass and reminder to journey on. Keep looking, the song seemed to say. What struck me about Nancy's songs was the narrative form. They, of course, are arduous, outstanding, and distinctive fate. You knew it was Nancy from the first arch say. The musicians were responding to the quality of Nancy's songs. At the end of the week, she went home with the entire album. She had achieved what she set out to do, and we all felt good about it. Because at the time, there weren't a whole lot of Texas women singer songwriters, and the few that were there, they were nothing of the caliber and she was. I just loved her from the get go. There is a kind of song I call a Nancy Griffith song and a type of music that can be traced back to her definitive influence and in artistry. Her narrative lyrical gifts are instantly recognizable and the hallmark of her legacy. The music and vocals are unmistakably her own. Nancy was always working on a song. She could create a character in a song just as good as the novelist that she loved. Her characters came alive and she told stories about their loves, their lives, or their troubles. When we did There's a Light Beyond These Woods, the title track was a song that's my favorite song by Nancy. It really spoke to me. And one thing I did that kind of united us, I started playing along with her. And, uh, and then she's going, yes, that's... We felt like we did a moment between our two guitars. It took me a little while to absorb some of the material she was writing. And it became quickly clear, though, that she was an intellectual. She was a real scholar. And she was a serious writer and a serious artist. And Nancy was a real... The other thing I would note about Nancy was how generous she was with other artists. And she was always bringing someone into the fold or encouraging them. We booked a bunch of gigs for her up in Minneapolis. She came up there. She spent time with my family. My daughter is her godchild. She was family. And a real wonderful period of Austin music. The singer songwriter Soul Bunch was sort of the excitement and mutual support was very, very crucial to all of us. Probably the most talented person I had the privilege of working with. <laughs>